Yirashimase! Hello and welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Fataris. It's time once again for Shoot 'em Up Saturday, and on the menu this Saturday we have Is it wrong to try to shoot 'em up girls in a dungeon? A bonus DLC now available as a standalone game. What kind of taste will it have? Let's get cooking and find out. From developer Mages and publisher PQ. Is It Wrong to Try to Shoot 'em Up Girls in a Dungeon, originally released as a bonus DLC for the Japanese release of Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon Infinite Combat. So now, fast forward to November 2020, and we have Is It Wrong to Try to Shoot 'em Up Girls in a Dungeon, available as a free download and a standalone game, for the platforms that the original title released on. So the PlayStation 4, which is the version we're looking at today, the PC via Steam, and the Nintendo Switch. Though at the time of this recording, it's not available on the Switch, but I do believe they plan to release it for the Switch. So the game itself is a really fun, cute shoot 'em up especially like uh, given the price point of free. Especially if you're familiar with the Don Machi series, then this one is one that I highly recommend you try, and especially given the fact you can pick it up without spending anything, really just pick it up and have some fun with it. Starting the game, we're taken to a difficulty select. Here you've got four difficulties to choose between. I would say that easy and even normal are a little bit too easy for, uh, if you're looking for any kind of challenge. So hard is probably your sweet spot and death does get to be a little bit too crazy, but Starting the game on normal, we're taken to our support select. So, before I go any further, just let me say that I'm not that familiar with the Don Machi series. So, um, the characters themselves are really just like uh, names here, and I, for, for uh, to me, and that's about my extent of what I know about them. But as far as the character we play, we play the role of. Uh, Ice Wallenstein, who happens to be a part of the Loki Familia. And all the support characters are in that uh, Familia, basically like the guilds that exist in uh, this particular property the, across the light novels, manga, anime, games that it happens to span. span. So uh, when you initially start the game, there are two support characters we can choose between. Lefia and Tiona. Once you complete a one run through, you'll unlock three additional characters Beto, Tione, and uh, Riveria here. So these uh, characters will provide additional uh, firepower and support uh, to Ice herself. Um, so what I would recommend as far as the characters you choose is one with a homing attack. So for that, we'll pick Leafia here. And then one that provides a more straightforward shot. So the default, uh, Tiona, has a really powerful, well, it's it's got a decent amount of power anyway, stream that fires forward. Uh, then Tiona here has a stream that fires backward, not as useful. And then Reveri has an attack that fires in a spread, and especially if you can target an enemy with a short range kind of shotgun style, she'll definitely deal your most damage. Once you've chosen your party, we start the gameplay, and as you can see here, it's a horizontal scrolling shoot 'em up with our characters running around on the fields. So our main shot is this wind blast. Uh, that will upgrade over the course of our gameplay. Uh, we start out at what would I would refer to as level 0, and you can upgrade it to level 6. In addition to that, we also have a speed stat, which starts at 0, and we can upgrade to 4. If you take damage, you will lose uh, one rank of attack and one rank of speed as well as a hit point. You can see our hit points are displayed there in the hearts. We have a total of five hearts. Below that is uh, the meter for our powerful wind blast attack. Although the wind blast attack does have 
a point penalty, which I'll cover here in just a moment. There's also five stars that represent the bombs or special attacks we have available. In most of the stages that we'll be playing, that special attack happens to be your support character, who we can swap between at uh, any time, uh, just using by default controls on a PlayStation 4 controller, R1. Uh, but in the final stage of the game, and uh, there are five stages total, the, that, um, at least against the final boss, your um, special attack goes from being your support character to Isa herself. So we've uh, made it all the way through our first stage and are fighting the first boss, this uh, dragon. And uh, really, uh, this is a good opportunity to just talk about how cute I feel the game is. Like seeing those like uh, deadly little axe wielding bunnies and even this like dragon itself is uh, really cute. Um, so one thing to note about the Wind Blast is it will cancel enemy shots. Uh, very, very useful to note. Uh, but you only have three charges built up at any given time. So those charges are once again that blue meter there below our health. Um, speaking of like, health, so when we take damage, of course we want to recover health if we can. How do we recover health? The health of item in this game is, at least in the lore of um, Don Machi itself, the Jaga Marukun. It's basically a potato, let's see, croquet. Um, so, you know, a potato kind of like mashed up in the, let's see, covered in breading and deep fried, uh, which is uh, um, Ice's favorite um, food. So once you complete a stage, we're given taken to our results here, where you get your stage score, your uh, and then the various like stat readouts. So uh, this is where you see where we're at power wise as well as speed wise, and then HP. So unfortunately, due to getting hit, I'm at zero speed and only one power. Moving on to the second stage, let's take a brief moment to talk about um, the uh, scoring. So as we defeat enemies, we have a bonus multiplier meter that builds up. It starts at 1 and builds all the way to uh, time 16. However, if we use our Wind Blast attack on enemies, it actually reduces the bonus um, by up to one full level. So it's kind of a, like a risk-reward sort of thing. If you use your... Uh, special attack then you uh, score lower points but if you risk going through the game without then you'll end up having a higher score in the end a decent way to set high scores unfortunately the scoreboards are only local so you'll just be competing against yourself save for like uh, posting to an online leaderboard um, but it's nice that there are ways you can challenge yourself to set higher and uh, higher scores, and the score rankings are uh, broken down by um, the individual difficulty settings, so you won't be competing against a uh, score set on like uh, easy with one set on the hard or death difficulty. So there we have it. Those are the basically the basics for uh, Don Machi shooting. It's a really uh, a fun title that, especially given that it's being released as a free bonus from uh, P-Cube and uh, Mages, is like really just a special treat to see. There are several um, games that release in Japan where you have uh, DLC uh, shoot 'em up titles but that are only available when you purchase the title and sometimes even the uh, you have to purchase the limited edition release of it to get those um, special shoot 'em up for let's see versions and there isn't any other way to acquire those games so to have uh, the game available to a worldwide audience and for free is incredibly generous and something that I was really really happy to see as I always am eyeing those uh, games that release with these DLC shoot 'em up games but 
I'm not willing to fork out that kind of money just to play what it see is just ultimately a mini game extra to a title that I might not have as much interest in. So that said, as far as uh, let's talk a little bit about the plus and minus flavors I feel the game has. So really the biggest and uh, only minus flavor that I have is that the gameplay itself is a little lacking in variety. Uh, after you've played through one stage, you've basically seen what the game is going to throw at you. There's a few different patterns and a couple different attacks thrown your way as you play through the game, but for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. And as you can see, as I mentioned, it's actually fairly easy on easy. Um, but on the plus flavor, the game itself really is super cute, and I imagine if you had a greater connection with these uh, characters, that that would the just the sheer fan service of that would uh, make it something even more special. Then you also do have the the added bonus of playing with different combinations, and at this point, I haven't even used the um, special attacks that you can use for the various characters. So Riveria's a special attack there, she uh, instead of uh, firing her shots forward, she fires this like a big stream uh, up into the sky that uh, will then lock onto enemies and if there happen to be enemies or a boss, it will like uh, decimate them very, very quickly. Uh, pretty neat uh, attack. If we switch over to Alifia here, hers will basically fire a really large barrage of her homing shots. Once again, great for taking out a lot of enemies, or if you happen to be in a situation with a boss, it'll be great to take out the boss efficiently. That said, the bombs are limited, and you'll only come across one or two bomb-up items throughout the course of any given stage, so keep that in mind when you are using your special attacks. And then the last major... Uh, plus flavor that I have for this title is of course the price point. Like uh, how can you beat a fr price point of free? It really is a great just a little bit of goodwill to release a title like this uh, to um, the community and fans at no cost. So really at the end of the day uh, I just can't recommend this enough uh, you're out nothing for trying it, and I've had a fair bit of fun with my time with it as I've played both the PC and the PlayStation 4 versions a fair bit already to this point. Alright, well, that'll just about wrap up this week's episode of Shoot'em Up Saturday. As always, I want to thank you so much for joining me this week, and I look forward to seeing you again next week.